What is going on everyone? I hope you all are having a great day. In today's video, we are checking out Mini Motorways, which is a game that has been released by the Dinosaur Polo Club, which is an amazing company name. And I should let you guys know that I did get a code for this on the Nintendo Switch. Now, I've got to be honest with you guys, I have been putting off this video because I didn't really know how to talk about the game. So instead, I'm just going to let you guys know about the basics. This is yet another minimalist game. I hate that word, minimalist. But yeah, this is yet another minimalist game. And for some reason or another, I've been playing a lot of these. The point of the game is very simple. You have to direct traffic using streets, motorways, roundabouts, stoplights, and other things that are given to you throughout the game. Now, you only have a limited number of each though, so you have to work with what you have and make it work for your community. Each level starts you off with a limited number of items, whether that be bridges or streets, and soon random buildings will begin popping up. Now, there are two types of buildings. There's residential and there's business. And your job is to connect each residential and business of the same color to one another. So I know that seems easy, but the trouble here is that buildings of all sorts of different colors will start popping up randomly on the map. So you have to do your best to use what you have and make the city traffic function as best as possible. Now, early in each game, it seems easy, but try not to waste too much material because before you know it, your town or city will grow exponentially and you'll have a hard time keeping up with the flow of traffic. And I guess that's pretty much the game in a nutshell, but let me tell you guys, this is way more challenging than you might think. So a few other things about the game, it does have online functionality where you can compete in daily or weekly runs to see who can get the best score. But to be completely honest with you guys, I tend to stay away from that and I'm just trying to do the best I can on my own levels. And there are plenty of levels, though me being thick headed, I refuse to move on to the next level until I unlock the challenges for each and every level. Now, in order to unlock challenges, you have to reach a certain score. I think it's a thousand points and points are earned by having a resident go to a business and return home. So I'm actually still on level one, which I believe is Los Angeles. And I've had this game for maybe pretty close to two weeks now. So I, I have 100% unlocked other levels, but the dumb part of my brain just keeps me from playing those levels. I, I cannot play any other level until I reach 1000 score in the first level and the sad thing is that the first time I, I actually had a try at the game the first time that i got the game in my hands on my switch i actually hit 982 points on los angeles which is the first level and ever since then i just haven't been able to get to that point and i have not been able to reach that thousand score limit and i think that's really the challenge of the game it's much more of a puzzle game or an rts than anything else and while it does frustrate me I absolutely love it because there's always a challenge to it. As I said earlier, I'm playing this on the Switch so that I have the option to take it with me on the go. But if you guys want to see where else this game is available, I will leave a link for you in the description. And I, I personally really enjoy this game. It is super frustrating because I cannot get to that score, but it is a challenging game. It, uh, it makes you use your brain quickly. You have to figure out routes that you need to change up in a quick succession in order to keep the traffic flowing. And I really like that it, it is like a it's an ever evolving puzzle. I personally really enjoy it. I'm playing it on the Switch. There's other places that you guys can go and check it out on. And I highly recommend it if you're looking for something new to play. And I guess that's pretty much it. Those are my thoughts on the game. I enjoy it. I hope you guys will too. And as always, I will see you on the next video.